Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday the 13th of January 2015. Starting off with the five minute chart, we can see how prices opened, rallied, and then closed below the psychological level of uh, 17,750. Uh, this price bar alone was uh, 50 plus points, and then we see the market just driving all the way through straight down to the uh, 17,650 level there so uh, nearly 100 uh, points in this bar then the market uh, testing at uh, the 17,650 there you can see the test bar selling returned there's some buying pressure coming into the market but just to make sure that the selling had disappeared they drove the market below the 17,600 and uh, sort of double tested it and there you can see the buying coming into the market with prices returning and closing back above the 17,600 before then making their way all the way back up to uh, 17,700 and taking out the 17,650 along the way as well. This then became a ceiling and we see the market trading back down 50 points reversing closing back above the uh, 17,650 and then trading back up towards the 17,600. So after the initial move, which uh, coincide with the drop in the crude oil price, which we'll just have uh, a quick look at uh, in just a moment, we can see that the Dow then uh, traded in a sideways range, getting narrower towards the end of the session, where we had a 100-point range there. The market then dropped down to 50. And the reason for no signals, again, is that the range of these price bars are quite uh, large exceeding the 20 pip that uh, we have in the trade uh, markup uh, there for the maximum range now there is a way um, to actually trade these bars and that's you have to increase the number of pips which increases of course the number of risk uh, number of points at risk but you do have the facility there to uh, scale down the number of uh, points or number of uh, pounds or pence per point that you actually uh, are better. So for example if I change this to 25 and then click apply you will see that there was a potential sell signal there that went on to confirm itself and a buy as well. But of course this does increase uh, the risk reward slightly which is why I prefer the standard 20 points because here you're risking I can just move this across so you can see it you're risking 38 points to actually get 20 which is not something that we uh, would like to do so even though these two trades show a profit we are uh, increasing the potential risk there as well so that's why we're not seeing too many signals at the moment because of the volatility in this market. Uh, the range of the bars are exceeding the 20 point range so we're looking for things to settle down. And they may not settle down for a few days because of the uh, precipitous drop in the crude oil price. And if I show you the monthly chart of crude oil, you can see what's happened over the last few months. It's now become the main feature of the financial news. And you can see there the crude oil price has fallen off a cliff from over $120 a barrel down to $47.26 in just one, two, three, four, five months. And heading back to the credit crunch low of 2008 at $36.20 per barrel. Now common sense and logic uh, need to be brought to the table when you see this sort of thing. Uh, the government will tell you that uh, the GDP is good, economic growth looks fantastic and everything else, but crude oil gives the real picture and the truth of what is actually going on. This is not all to do with sanctions against uh, Russia or putting pressure on Russia. That, to me, is a red herring. This is the real picture of the economic picture. We saw it in 2007, 2008, and what we're seeing here is the... Uh, if we go back to 2008, we see the crude oil price increase. We've had five years of no growth and low interest rates, and now we're coming back to where we should be uh, in 2008. And you can expect the stock market to follow suit shortly, along with um, other markets as well, including uh, potential crash in junk bonds, as well as a lot of these uh, oil companies will have uh, borrowed money.
which is going to have the knock-on effect with the banks as well. So keep an eye on the crude oil price, and in particular $36.20 there. So there should be some support in that area. If there isn't, then we could expect lower prices, but certainly heading in that direction at uh, the moment. So it's a crucial area for crude oil prices. Uh, and in fact, let me just have a look and see if we've gone through the 76% we have. So it's uh, a case of down to the recent lows, which is going to be, as I say, 36.20 is the target for uh, crude oil. And also you've got to keep in mind that interest rates have stayed low all the way through this time as well. This is not economic global growth. China has come to a grinding halt and also uh, commodity price index is at 12 year lows as well, which is something else that um, is not being mentioned at this time. So there is a massive slowdown in the global economy. Not all of the nonsense that they're talking about on the financial news channels that this is good for global growth. Uh, listen, we've had five years, six years of zero interest rates. We've had trillions printed and the economy hasn't changed. And that's because of the underlying debt, which is a different uh, uh, subject altogether. So watch the crude oil price at 36.20. Uh, if we get support there, you'll see support in the stock market as well. So going back to the Dow, to the daily chart, we can see that uh, yesterday we had another selling day. Uh, we've had a bit of buying up to this point, 76% of course stopping the market. And if I uh, draw in using the, uh, the FIB extensions from here to here, we're looking around 17,850 for the market to struggle again should prices move higher during today's session. So what news have we got to move the markets? Uh, we've got uh, the CPI from the UK, which is forecast to go low, which we're again tying with the low crude oil price. So I've no doubts about it. This is going to uh, come out lower than forecast. And then really there's nothing this afternoon apart from 3 p.m. We've got the JOLTS job openings. This is out at uh, 3 p.m and then there's a 10 year bond auction at 6 which shouldn't really affect the market uh, too much there. Now finally in the implied volatility 1533 up from 1388 on yesterday's uh, there so again because of the sharp drop in prices at uh, the open there. Right that's it uh, from me for today I shall see you in tomorrow's edition of the market alert have a good day. As ever, thank you for your support. Very much appreciated. And as ever, thanks for watching. I shall see you in the next one.